Hey, so my newly named box just came in the mail. It's a little bit up, makes me kind of sad, but it's here. So we're gonna dive on in and see um, how to do this. Open the box, and this is the first time me seeing it. Hope, wanna say hi? Hi. So I can't hold my camera and it's out of the box. So now we have it out of the box. Pretty folder. Ooh, and it has a checklist. That's what this is. Oh, all right, just a thank you note checklist, which I need to get my mailer's license, I think. So, looks like it has all the deets. I'll fill you in once I actually read all of this stuff. So, I just filled out my social security card information. It was super nice, had a good step by step on how to do that. And then, next up, up to social security is my driver's license. But also, first, I need to get my marriage license. So, I need to call them today once I'm done. Okay, so the Social Security office did not work out because I guess I need the certificate even though when I called them, they didn't need the license. So whatever, I got my certificate ordered. It should be here for seven to 10 days and then we can start the process. And I'll just keep you up to date. We'll just make this one big vlog of changing my last name. So yeah, advice, make sure you guys get your marriage license, certificate, whatever. Have a physical copy that's like approved by the state so they can get your name changed. So. Yep, I'll see you in a bit, bye. Hey guys, so it's been a hot second since the last clip we saw about me trying to change my name. I just got to my house and I think that I have um, my marriage license, so let's see. Okay, so I have my marriage certificate. It looks very official, but it's like not a fancy one. Like I thought it was gonna be like a fancy, have like a seal, but it's literally just like a piece of paper that has information on it, so. Now that I have it, I'm gonna call Social Security to see if I can get that in order so I can go there tomorrow and um, do my name. Hey, this is Natalie. We are gonna go change my name. So, for my box, for my documents, so hopefully by the end of this, I'll have a driver's license. Okay guys, I don't wanna show you my license because it probably has some information on it that you can't see, but we got it. It was super easy. It was like, so what, $17-ish? So now, we're headed to Hutch to go to Social Security office and get that changed. Hopefully it goes as smooth. Okay, we did it. We got our social security changed. And in like a couple weeks, I'll have my physical copy. Hey, so we got everything updated except people's account because they need an official copy of my driver's license and then we can process that. But I'm gonna do a little haul because we started corn this week and I just wanted to show you everything I got. So, went to Sam's the other day. Ben likes crackers, granola bars, and stuff chips. Those are his. I really like pork rinds. And I'm trying to eat healthier, so that's my little snack. And then tonight, um, I'm hosting some people at my house, so I'm making chicken fettuccine casserole. So, got some chicken breasts. What is this called? Uh, got some bread. Ben also eats sandwiches during summer. French bread. And so I have bread for him. Then I have some of my noodles for the casserole. And then Ben really wanted to shake chocolate. He's been craving it, so got some chocolate syrup. I got my Alfredo sauce for the recipe. Oopsies. And I made this before. I just want my other YouTube videos. So I got barbecue, oh, barbecue. What is it? Alfredo oh, sauce. And then I got my ranch. I got some milk for Ben's chocolate shake. Got some chocolate ice cream for the chocolate shake. And then lastly, I got some cheese and I got some more ham because we're almost out of ham. So that is all, and I will see you later. Bye. Hey, so now that I have like basically everything changed except one bank, I'm gonna tell you about the newly wed box overall. So overall, it was a really pretty box. So like aesthetically, it was very pleasing. Um, I think honestly though, I, I kind of wanted to get the box because it's fun to post on Instagram, and I don't know. You see everybody get it. It's like oh, I want to get it too. So um. If you want to get it for the Instagram, like, go for it, I guess. But, like, at the same time, I feel like if you have one person that you know that's gone through the process, then, like, you don't have to get it again. For example, I'm getting married. I got married. And my sister's getting married. And since, like, I know what I'm doing this time, like, she just asked me. Because, like, the papers they give you in the box, super duper helpful. It, like, helped me know what I needed to take with me to what place. But the thing is, once I got to the places, like, first off, I got my marriage license. And I should have just listened to the box and not um, do what I thought I had to do. But um, 
so I went to the driver's license place. And there's actually no paperwork in the packet I got for the driver's license place. It just told me what I needed to get. And then I went to Social Security. And um, I took my papers and everything I needed. And since I already had the paper filled out, it kind of helped him, I guess, he said. But, like, he filled it all out on the computer. So I guess, like, maybe if you don't live in a town that you're close to, like, um the social security office then yes you should go ahead and get it because it's easy but like i live in inman and the social security office is in hutch and so i literally just like drove there and turned in paperwork and so i don't really yeah but yeah overall i th it was very helpful like to tell me what to do in what order um but at the same time i could have just gotten like the 35 five dollar one and um I put everything off myself, but this is, it was helpful because it told me, hey, sign this, you have this, this, and this, so, yeah, I hope you have a good day, bye.